it, yep, alright. Hey wow. folks, how's it going? Welcome back to Wind Waker, I'm Cameron. Go, go. Oh, I'm Patrick. I'm Jay. And Patrick <laughs> didn't say his name, not, his name last for once. I panicked. I panicked like super hard. Alright, so I've actually done a little bit of research before coming into this, and I know where the two islands are, and I think we're going to start with the ice island, because that's first on my list. Hooray, it's a short list, it's only two islands. Yeah. That'll skip. Yeah. At least now we won't be wandering around this fucking endless ocean. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, it? five, A, B, C, D, E, F. F5. Yeah. Alright, so it's it's you to the south. You sunk my battleship. Yes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Thank you. It, no! <laughs> wait, what's shit? Oh, fuck. It's been a while. Alright, so it's... Up, left, right. Yeah, there we go. It's been a while, alright? This is fucking ingrained into my frickin' memory. Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on your tombstone. Up, left, right. <laughs> up, left, right. Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> Cameron, don't worry. When the hero has to save Water High Rule, they'll just be able to find your gravestone and learn the songs. Just like that one guy who is like dancing at the freaking gravestone. Yeah. Although I still have to question, like, why does no one find that at least a little bit disrespectful that there's just some dude dancing on a gravestone? <laughs> Like, he's been doing it for days! <laughs> I don't, I don't know, like, yeah. maybe he's a freaking gypsy, or whatever the politically correct term for that is. Gypsy? Gypsy. No, I think there's actually a term, I think, like... Vagabond? No! Fuck! Uh, <laughs> gypsies are people who move from place Obos. to place willingly. Va uh, vagabonds? vagabonds? Technically vagabonds. I don't know. Um, I don't Vagabond is the true. legal term for someone who has no home and just moves from place to place and just gen generally causes problems. We had uh, people moving across our street a little while ago, who were basically gypsies, and they're like, "Can you?" They asked my dad if they could, re <coughs> if uh, he could renovate their basement, mm -hmm. and then they fucked off like halfway through it, and it's like <laughs> we've never seen them again. <laughs> and they, they like left the house with all the furniture, and they haven't been back in like months. You should have just annexed that shit. They the, like got the homeowner came in, and he's like, "All right," and just moved everything out. <laughs> oh, they rented the place. Yeah, I thought you meant like they bought a house, asked you to renovate it, and then just fucked off. Yeah. They were yeah, weird. They were weird it. people, though. In people which case, weird. your response yeah. should have been to fucking annex that place. I was yeah. gonna say, your response should have been, sweet, free couch. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just take all their How shit. How come you didn't use the vortex to get there faster? Because we were Jason two squares Cub. above it. Oh, okay. Like... like it, oh, yeah, it you're was, right, yeah. the Temple of Time, right. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, I have the little, the grid system and such. And okay, it's yeah. either these or, like, close to them. It's not those because that's where the frickin' hillbilly tree is. Okay, then, yeah, we're going in the right direction because the hillbilly... That's it! There. Or no, uh, that's a boat, no, I think. No, that's a beetle, I think. Shit, where was the telescope? No, it's not a boat. What is that? That's an island, bro. No, it's a small moon. <laughs> 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 oh god, that'd be sick! Oh god, that's the the tractor beam. There's a freaking Death Star just floating in the fucking ocean. <laughs> so that's where it went. That's where this was Ganon's plan the whole time. Just him and Palpatine oh fucking it up. <laughs> just across the entire timeline, it's just been Ganon working lifetime after lifetime by himself with the Moblins to build a fucking Death Star. <laughs> now, Link, you will yeah. fully witness the power of this fully operational battle station. He's just holding the, the, the what do you call it, the, the, the Master Sword. You want this! <laughs> Don't you? Strike me down! <laughs> Strike me down and I shall... And your training <laughs> shall be complete. Your transformation to the power side of the Triforce shall be complete. <laughs> That'd be oh, such a good I'm crossover. A, I'm afraid you'll find... You'll find the island quite frozen when your boat arrives. Oh, you missed right. entirely. I'm not sure if I... What?! Yeah! Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 bullshit. It just passed close enough to melt it. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome, bullshit, Patrick says. <laughs> it's bullshit, but it's awesome. I love it. I want it. It's great. Just ignore the freaking chest. Yeah. It's not worth it. I'm pretty sure it's just a map. Let's be perfectly it. honest. We're not. We're not. We're not collecting those anyway. <sighs> All right. Where's the way onto this fucking thing? I'm pretty sure this is just too high for me to climb. So I have yep. to. Yep. Get to run around yeah. a bit. So if Ganon is Palpatine, then who's Vader? The bird. <laughs> uh, it has the mask. Yeah, oh my maybe. god. Oh god, when you crack over his face, let me see you <laughs> with my real eyes. Oh man. So, yeah, yeah. So that okay. means that, uh, like, when the bird was kidnapping your sister Errol, he was just trying to get his daughter back. <laughs> That's so weird. 
There was a uh, oh, someone did some concept this art of like the Wind Waker art style, but with Star Wars, it's really good. I would totally love to see that. Oh, it's on. Uh, it's online. I saw someone did uh, the like the Wind Waker with. Um, weirdly enough, it was. Uh, I think. Ah, uh, fuck. What was it called? Oh fuck! What's that hipster cartoon that everyone liked for a long period? That's like, a lot of cartoons. That's yeah. It, it got a movie with Michael Sarah in it. Fuck. Are you talking about Scott Pilgrim? Which That's is a comic the one. Book? I like that movie. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim. I really don't like it. Mm. It's about a dick who's not self-actualized enough to realize that he's a dick. <laughs> oh god! I, <laughs> Until the very yeah, end, Patrick. Yeah. Patrick, did you ever see that uh, <laughs> that that comic that kind of went through the group for a short period, like when Scott Pilgrim became really popular, where it was like the the badly drawn version of him? It was just Dude, like, I hear cannonballs. Yeah, there's a boat. Was it like one of those things where they call him like Scoot Palgrim or something? No, it was one of the ones where it's um, it's like it, I think it was done by some of the guys on uh, CO, and the entire like a uh, joke about it was it was like um they got like really bad voices for it. And it was just like a, oh man, what a beautiful day! I'm ready to fight. <laughs> if you want a date, you had to fight my seven evil ex boyfriends. Oh my god, they're so hideously ugly. How will I defeat them? <laughs> Yeah, I can picture Michael Sarah. Like <laughs> There's a stirring in my loins. Oh man! For a period of like three weeks, everyone who walked into freaking EB Games was just like, "You sound a lot like Michael Sarah." That had to be a I know. The fuck? You're more you, like more you, Bob Dylan. Yeah, I was that. gonna say when you're <laughs> Bob Dylan. I was yeah. gonna say like Cameron when your hair was grown out. I mean, you had a passing resemblance to him, but I you're probably the same body type. But that's about it. Well, yeah, you know, skinny, kinda. lanky, really curly hair with like the flat top and the poof and the. I don't have really curly hair. It's... No, but it's like when it was growing out, it was a bit like. Uh, yeah. Granted, my hair is unruly and stupid looking. You got two minutes. Can you, you do say it? to me? <laughs> two minutes, five seconds, seventy-six milliseconds. You have two minutes and five seconds to save Princess Zelda. Are you a bad enough dude? <laughs> okay, which way do I? Uh, oh, yeah, does it matter which so way? Fuck. It pointed go you directly way. forward. Just go forward. Go forward. This way. No, that way. No, you way. fucking moron. Well, fuck. Go in the it's direction okay, that doing, the game sets you in. You tried. Doing your best. When you're on a time limit, the game generally isn't enough of a dick to point you in the wrong direction and just You'd watch think it so. Ignore the bats. Just Ignore the going. pot. Ignore the pot. I will, uh, fuck you, snow. Kind of pot. Man, you gotta do... I don't have time to Ignore pass them. it to the left. Ignore them. Don't press anything. Oh. 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 Look, man. No, I've ridden. Good. good job. I, I, I've raced the penguins. My butt scoot <laughs> skills have become maximum. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst level of Mario 64. I always just shot off the edge and landed right at the finish line. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I forget if the timer stops. It does. Oh, cool. So you, you see, can go kids, to that you... area behind the thing, too, I think. There might yep. be something there. Nope, it's just texture. Oh, damn it. So remember, kids, if you ever happen to be in a great time limit, buy fashionable footwear, and the time will disappear. Sick texture, bro. Oh, yeah, because there's a the huge wind funnel there. I'm gonna put on my deviant art. <laughs> Do you actually have a deviant art? He does. Yeah, but I barely, rarely put on I don't think you've used it in over a year. Uh, What's in this hole? Probably. Is there anything in this hole? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, and that's how most high school romances are started. <laughs> <laughs> but the vagina trolls. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, I never knew about oh. this. That's kind of cool. Uh oh. Take them, them one at a time. Fight them! I think that's what I have to do, yes. They must die! Of course, two of them in there. A lot of goblins, though. Each no, release them all at once. Still only no, man, they're like, one. I was gonna say they're co I was gonna say they're kobolds. They're only worth half an experience point each. Oh, man. D&D oh, is geez. super harsh on the kobolds. They're still, like, my favorite creature, though. That said, man, have you ever heard about... I think, oh, I can't the remember the one. name anymore. It was like... Pun Pun the Kobold! Well, not, who not just... to Godhood, turn not, one. Not just uh, Pun Pun. I was talking about... Um, I think it was called Draken's uh, Kobolds. A set of kobolds who made the trap so frightening that the highest level of adventurers were too scared to go to level 2, but they couldn't leave the dungeon because that meant going through more kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think my... My favorite, Give me your like, pants. Keep I think talking. my favorite story about like traps and shit. Uh, I'm I'm sure like even if you haven't played it, you've probably heard of the Tomb of Horrors in D and D, right? It sounds familiar. Like, well, okay, you know what? Let's even if both for me and the viewers, let's explain it. It's a notoriously hard map that was developed by Gary Gygax uh, way back in the days of first edition in A D and D. 
when oh, people so were when D and D was known for being not just notoriously hard, but horrendously dickish. Like this was before D and D was actually published, and a whole bunch of Gary Gygax's friends were like, "Dude, this is too easy." So then he created the Tomb of Horrors, which is <sighs> run by a lich or a demi lich actually, uh, who basically is attempting Fucking... to ascend to godhood. The thing is so filled with traps and just patterns that change at a moment's notice, and it is actually part <laughs> of the required readings that at a specific point you are supposed to mock your players asking sarcastically if this is too hard. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, it, it's a tournament map that people play not to see if they can beat it, but just to see who can beat it with the fewest character losses. Um, and uh, there was a group of dwarves at one point who went through the entire thing I'm just gonna see if there's magic with just adamantine picks. And just, like, slowly dug away everything. That's really <laughs> sick. That's literally how they did it. Over the course of months of in-game time, they just slowly dug away the only, entire temple. Only the dwarves. I was gonna say, so let me get this straight. They pretty much beat the temple by being a dwarf and just stubborning it out of existence. You're gonna have to put yeah. the boots on really... Oh, never mind. They yeah. just stubborned their way through it. Just spat me right the hell out. Ugh. Oh, right, right. We're under siege. Like, they were just level one dwarf miners, just commoners with picks, and That's they're so just good. like, no. So, uh, actually, recently I've gotten into a Pathfinder campaign, and everyone's... Okay, let me let me summarize for you quickly the group of, of adventurers we have right now. There is a There is a kobold witch. Yep. There's my kobold, who is a squire, effectively just a rogue. Uh, he's a current... He, the best way to describe him is he's a disgruntled ex-employee of a major knight's guild. Alright. Uh, Cameron, would you mind reading out for me the, the next map area once I get the hell out of Dodge? Uh, C6. Okay. Anyway, so there's that. There is the Tengu Monk. <laughs> there, Why? There is a Priest of Talos. No, 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 no. you're going to explain this. Why is there a Tengu Monk? Why is there, like, the, this tiny little crow monk? There is a... So, and finally, there is a dwarf, uh... There is a dwarf explorer. So... We have, like, the weirdest set of people. And recently, we had to defend a wall from orc attack. Okay. Uh, how the defense went... Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. How the defense went was effectively... We stood up on the top of the wall and had to survive horrendous amounts of, uh... You know, wave after wave of enemies trying to climb up the wall like, uh... Isengard. Right. Uh... I think you mean Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep. Whichever one. The bat... The, the <laughs> oh, fuck! I was going the wrong way, and I'm surrounded by sharks. Anyway, so, things weren't going adequately. Um, <laughs> so, you have to understand, the things that were going on... So, we had the, the, the Priest of Talos chopping orcs in half with magic. We had the dwarf just murdering orc after orc. Then we had my kobold, who just stood just beneath one of the ladders and was stabbing orcs in the back as they jumped over the wall. That kobold had the highest kill count, not counting the tengu who kicked two ladders down. <laughs> okay, um... This is actually remind me of so like... So C6, you said? C6. Okay. I have a story up for this one. Okay. okay Patrick, go. you'll probably know this guy's name, but um, basically there was like this Chinese general who was known for his ability to lay just horrendously oh, yeah, yeah. devastating traps. And I know it wasn't Oh, wait, I think I know who you're talking about. The guy who played the, 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 the yeah, instrument? Yeah, yeah. yeah basically uh, he had no reinforcements. I think we told this story, actually. Oh, we did? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. Never mind. Oh, shit, wait. Fuck. I was going the right way. I read the map wrong. <laughs> when we were, uh... God, I'm stupid. I used to do a lot of, like, forward-based role-playing stuff. Yep. Through, like, all kinds of universes, like Star Wars, uh, Avatar. I a remember you of, did like, a Zelda one one time. Yeah, I tried to do the Zelda one, but it didn't really work out. Magic's for noobs. Yeah. I did, um... <coughs> no, I've done three or four Zelda ones. I actually have, like, really cool stories from those. Uh, but, like, I was, like, a quest master on a couple of them, where I would, I would like, make quests for people, and they would do complete them, they get forum bonuses and stuff get like that. Get seven bear asses. That's basically what we would do, it's like, or clear out uh, Kakariko Village, <laughs> and the people would play it out, and it was a lot of fun. Bear asses. <laughs> You've never heard that before? No, it's just, it's one of those things, it's just, like, it's so simple that it gets me every time. And I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I told you about the. Uh, I I showed you the story the, about the guy who made the brownie mix. And it was just like it's like snakes. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I did one for Avatar. That was like a oh. shit ton of fun. But uh, uh, the main... please tell me it was Last Airbender and not like James Cameron. No, it was actually a good James Cameron one. It was the it was the one good one that I could find. <laughs> the one good James Cameron Avatar role play yep. in the world. Yeah, it was. No, it was super solid, and, and they wanted me to moderate, but I had to school and stuff. Oh man. But uh. 
we had this one fantasy thing that was like a like a homebrew fantasy, right? And we had to defend this boat against these giant mechanical sharks. Dude, you got on a boat. There's your first problem. Exactly. So I was just like, all right, my character is like an ex captain of the military, and we're like going to fight these demons who are the, the ghosts of the people we killed previously, whatever. Right. And I was just like, all right, we have these big b- uh, buckets of oil. And, like, explosives. So it was like, what we did is we threw them in the ocean, and yep. then when the sharks went to eat them, we shot them with fire, flaming arrows. And that's how we defended the boat. <laughs> and then my guy, at the very end, someone was being attacked by, like, one of the other characters was being attacked by one of the ships, or one of the sharks, so they were in the water, because they yep. got knocked out. So I just, like, leapt out of the boat, landed on the shark, and just, like, bludgeoned it to death. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, like, just man. like, Aah! Oh, God. Oh, man. Um, actually, uh, one time for D&D, a few of the players were sick and couldn't show up. Uh, so, like, yep. the three remaining players were just like, Cam, just throw together a session. And I'm like, okay, I don't have anything planned, so here's the deal. You find yourself in a clearing in the woods, roll roll a D100, and what, or it was, it was like, roll three D100s, add the results together, I'm gonna flip to that page on the monster manual, and you're gonna fight that. Oh, yeah, okay, I think I know about this. So, oh, jeez, I remember this. Story. After a couple of rounds of, like, spiders and, like, evil, like, wood elves and shit, um, one of our friends, Wesley, comes up to bat. Name? Wesley Oh, wait, yeah he's, in the, yeah, he's in the Let's Play, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Jay. Um, Honk. <laughs> uh, Wesley- Honk! <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> Stop honking whenever I say what... Damn it, I thought I could bait it out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm in the right... No, no, I'm almost in the right. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Always pay attention when you're driving, Wesley. Or... <laughs> ah, you didn't catch What's his name. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, he goes to roll. Is this real life, like, right now? <laughs> anyway, he goes to roll, and he gets a dire orca. Which is, like, a DC-30 creature with, like, 270-some-odd health. And they're, like, level 3s. On the upside, they're in a forest. Yeah, so this led to, like, the first response being, like, Oh, shit, how are we gonna deal with this thing that's literally the size of an apartment complex? And then it's like, wait, we're in the middle of a forest. (laughs) Let's just wait in a tree. Those are always the best solutions. When it's like, <laughs> like it's just like let's just do that. And everyone's like, God damn it! <laughs> okay, Wesley, so though, now I'm in the right square. Somewhere right idea, right like, here. hey, it's an orca on land. It can't really move. I'm just gonna go stab it. <laughs> At which point, the orca passes a strength test to roll over and crush Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had this one character on a role play site, <coughs> or like, no, it was the avatar role play site. And he's pretty cool. I used um, oh, who the fuck did I use? Lubu? No, 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 no. I used uh, like Daniel Craig as like a play-by character, like the who were oh, first face, okay. right? But uh, I fo- I got a picture of him smiling, and I photoshopped so like he had chrome teeth. And his <laughs> backstory was in the final stand of like the first av- like of the Avatar movie because yeah. it was like them returning, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he got his. Teeth. Oh wait, you're the humans. Yeah, I was playing. Yeah, I him. instantly like this much better. Oh yeah, yeah. we were like we were. You could play different races and shit. But uh, my one character, he had chrome teeth because they got knocked out when he got like slammed by one of those hammerhead rhino things. Nice. And uh, there was like, <coughs> I had a really bad reputation for either making the character get horrendously drunk and show up in awkward scenes, <laughs> like just just butt into people's threads, and people were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" But it was like a big joke. Two people are trying to have like a romance encounter. Yeah, and you're just super drunk and whip one of them in the face yeah. with a bottle. It was one of them where I. It was like uh, hey, someone, faggots, keep it in your pants. <laughs> Someone got injured in a previous set, so they're going. They're going to like. Uh, they agreed previously that it was going to be a romance thing. And my yeah. character, they were in. The, one character was in the med bay waiting oh, for the geez, nurse. He's to come angry in. about me killing his father. And then the nurse came in, and the nurse was played by like some blonde character. Okay. And uh, in in the chat, I'm like, hey, can well, I join works. in on your thread? They're like, oh, we'll have to think about it. I'm like, all right, it's too late. I already posted. <laughs> and it was like, and I <laughs> basically just showed now. up. My character literally showed up, looked at the nurse's ass, made some <laughs> lewd comments, and left. It like two posts, and they're like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" They're like, I mean, and "Mind you, these posts are like four paragraphs long, like like six hundred to seven hundred words. They take a bit of effort." Whereas your thing is just like you've got a nice butt. Yeah, and that was it. And then everyone's just like, "You're you're pretty." Cool. I, I see what you're it. trying to do there. Yeah. Way to do it, Jack. Yeah. And like they wanted to, like you want to moderate. So I got on the like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Patrick, I was gonna say, it's pretty much you just showed up and just be like, I wanted to get into her sweet, sweet cats. 
So did they want you to moderate because you were legitimately good at this kind of thing? Or yeah, did they I'm want good. you to moderate so that you wouldn't have a character so you couldn't do this well, you, shit? You no, made, you can, uh, yeah, mods have characters in a lot of these. Yeah. So I had, I, had two, I had two characters. I had my character, all my characters had chrome teeth. Because I was like, <laughs> I thought that was the funniest shit in the world. The first one was uh, the Daniel Craig character. And the right. other, one, other one was uh, Ron Perlman from Enemy of the Gates. Yes. So basically he played yes. a big game hunter who came to the planet to hunt like animals and Navi. shit. It was so fucking cool, and he's like, and then he wanted to hunt a navi, and then I had to leave the site just because like I had other commitments. But it was like it's such a good site because they were basically open to do pretty much anything within reason, which is awesome. I such would love to watch a big game <laughs> hunter in like a fantasy reality. That's what I tried. I Man. usually play bounty hunters, so I I also played on uh, a place called World of Terror, which got shut down recently because of uh, someone hacked it. But it was like such a good site. It had like this huge system, and it was awesome. You could World buy of Terror, yeah. And I was playing that, and my character was like basically a bounty hunter who who liked stories and would read and shit like that. But he wasn't like, like he was just like a big tough guy who liked to read. And that was his whole oh six, oh, six oh, shot double kill. <laughs> and I also got something up there, so it was like a triple shot, no, or it just hit the just wall and it wall. froze it. Either way, man, it's such yeah, a is this one of those stupid things where I'm gonna need just to jump freeze? It. The, do I need to freeze the lava? No, or? you're good. Just jump it. Ignore it. No, <laughs> out of my way. Oh jeez, I'm actually running low on magic. Maybe I should stop firing arrows. Yeah! Especially since you're gonna need an ice arrow for shit that's coming up. That's such a good sight. Uh, now see if you can double kill those. Probably not. Oh. No, you need the bracers. Just kill it with your sword! No, because I don't think it... Because uh, if I... I think there's something I need to do with them. You have them. to kill them. No, you have to oh, kill them. You have to kill them? them okay. It's just... You only have two minutes. Oh, well, that was easy. Because they're... Yeah, if I throw them into the lava or anything, then they're, like, they, you can't kill them unless they roll up. Yeah, they just respawn with full health out of the lava. I really miss role-playing on sites. I was just thinking about it. Finally, I got my magic I've back. never done it online. It's it's pretty it's, Remember yeah. how um I wrote the history for my one character for your Dark Heresy campaign, the priest? Yep. I ba You basically write a character profile that's like that, and you give him, like, there's a bunch of other, like, height, weight, shit like that. It's really fun. You're actually really good at writing out backstories and shit. Yeah, I really, like, it's one of my, I'm still good at it. A lot of uh, people in my class say I should write more, but yeah. Oh man, I'm just trying to think who in my role play makes like really good. Jack actually. Jack's good. Bleep, yeah. bleep that, bleep that. He's good. He's actually pretty good. Uh, Wesley tends to make just hilarious ones. Mm. They they tend to actually be really good. God damn, has that one dude just followed you this whole fucking way? If so, he's he's officially taken employee of the month from that gremlin. Oh yeah, the one they kept jabbing you with a trident out on the friggin' yeah. prison island? Yep. He 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 had gumption. Okay, now I can go to one of the two places, or do I have to go get the goddamn companion first? Uh you have to okay, for the it's just to get the companions usually. For the one with Zoras, you have to go to the place first to learn the song to find yeah. out you need a companion and then you Okay, so um do you remember the song of teleporting? Uh up, left, right down. Up. Uh, four, four, oh right, right, four, four. right. Up, left, right, down. Oh, up, oh. right, left, down. Sorry. Up, right, left, down. No, you're wrong. Oh, okay. Down, just... uh, down, right, left, up. Hold on. Hold oh on, fuck. On. Down, right, left, up. Pretty sure. If I, I remember correctly. I haven't played this in a few months. Do, 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 I forgot how to look up my song. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. You're right. Okay, down, so it's it's right, which? Down, right, left, up. Shit. I tried to close the menu, and then we I remembered had, uh, it's a tab. There okay. was one. There was so one it's bit. which? Down, right, left, up. Down, right, left. Up. Oh, fuck, fuck. I keep forgetting that down, down is a higher note than up for some reason. Down. Yeah, that's weird. Left, right, up. Oh. And, uh, yeah, fuck, I missed one. Fuck. Role playing. We always had, uh, there was a lot of tournaments, like, people okay. running tournaments and shit like that, but, like, with fighters. Mm -hmm. And there was this one where my character was, like, the only non-magic-using, like, hu normal human guy in it. Right. We had, like, some weird fucking necromancer. There was a lot of different races, but it was, like, a yeah. necromancer undead guy. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. And I was, uh, him and I got teamed up, and basically, he's like, alright, we're gonna summon skeletons. I'm like, no, I'm gonna bum-rush these fuckers. So, like, I wrote out that my character basically just, like, tackled down the one, like, ornately dressed dude and beat him to his <laughs> helmet. <laughs> and it was just like the guy. People were like, "Jesus, that was graphic." And I was like, "Oh, whatever, YOLO." <laughs> it was like it was well written. Like it was. It wasn't like blood and guts everywhere. Well, it was if like, you responded, yeah, well, YOLO. Yeah, 
Like they were just I just saw how you respond in chat. Like I'm not yeah. I'm really like I love writing really formally, but I don't like talking formally that like I'll say fucking shit all the time, right? Like, yeah. I'm actually articulate. I when I say fucking shit, I'm just too lazy to think of a good word. <laughs> That's the case with actually a lot of you. Though, so yeah. well, that's like, the thing with conversation. You can't uh, stop to uh, think of the perfect word uh, without looking like a moron. Yeah. Yeah. The only people who can get away with it are like Polish people because they just they do that all the time. Like what? every pro Polish person I met, they'll pause and then they'll like they'll finish their talking. thought. They'll, like yeah, I've they, never encountered this stereotype before. Yeah, it's really it's a good stereotype. If anything. Kind of like how Chinese people can't tell time, Cameron. Yeah. Those specific <laughs> Chinese people at that specific Chinese restaurant cannot tell time. They also can't change their earrings. Because I, I work in a tattoo shop now, right? So yeah. it's like, they, they always, always come in and they're like, can you change this, can you change this? So I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's 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 t like it's annoying, but like you have to teach yeah. them how. And like, they always come in like every other week. You just like, squeeze the little it. thing. You just take you squeeze really hard and you untwist the ball very slowly and delicately. Preferably with like a <laughs> napkin under your ear or something so it doesn't fall everywhere. Oh. Alright, yeah, this is the Windy Island and then I gotta get... Oh yeah, you need both of the things for both of the islands. That's yeah. right. Yep. Oh man, apparently, I, I found this out today, apparently the Fire and Ice Island were each supposed to be a, a full-fledged dungeon. I would not be surprised. They should have been. We should play Twilight Princess after this, that'd be fun. Oh yeah. Oh, I also have, um, what's it called? The, 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 the Skyward Sword, if we wanted to do the most recent. Oh, I fucking hated Skyward Sword so goddamn much. I don't know, I liked it. Can Never you played roll? it. What? Can you roll? Yeah. Roll, you'll go faster. It'll be less obnoxious. You had to hammer that shit. Yeah. Jam. Jim Jams. You can't flim flam the Jim Jam. Just curious. Uh, if you'd gotten the hammer from beating Phantom Ganon and yes. then gone and done the uh, temples, uh, oh, or the like, like fire the and ice things, could yeah. you have just gone straight to this and just bypassed saving your sister and just let her fucking rot? No, because the game initiates it. That, like, you have to go do this now. I think. It's like a like a linear path. I, 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 yeah, I'm pretty no, sure it I won't mean, let like, you... Um, Will it just not let you get the companions or something? Maybe not. Actually, you know what? I, I, I don't Play the damn song. Right. I'm not sure because you had to do something with Zelda, too, right? Well, not right away because you have everything you need in order to do this. Uh, I like this song a lot. Like, it's simple. Oh, wait, no. Maybe because you can't meet uh, the guy who gives you the teleporting song. No, you can meet him as soon as you pass... Uh, you can meet him as soon as you pass the... Um, as soon as you get the bow and arrow. Hmm. In fact, you can meet him beforehand, and oftentimes do, and then he fucks you up. Because you okay. have no answer. And oh yeah, I think we did meet him before, Tab. Yeah, because because I didn't have the arrows, and I just, just steer in, balls blazing, just... <laughs> <laughs> balls blazing? What? <laughs> balls blazing. Balls blazing, so hard, so good, girl. Oh my god. It's... it's... The happy mask guy? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> looks a bit like him, yeah. Oh man! So You've Cam met with a terrible fate, haven't Cameron's you? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Um, it's a damn shame. <laughs> Cameron, have you uh, beaten what's it called? Um, the, the, the 3DS Zelda yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay. No, I keep meaning to finish it, yeah. but like I'm on yeah. the last temple, and I kind of don't want it to end. I was gonna tell you, man. Like at the end, <laughs> it turns out we actually find out where um where alternate link has been this entire damn time. Seriously? Yeah. Oh man. So there is actually an alternate link, although Yeah, I knew yeah. there had to be. I figured yeah. it was just the freaking salesman. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Is it the salesman not. just telling I'm, me? I'm 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 not because other people out there might want to know. Just <laughs> nod or shake your head. I fuck it. Ah. Uh. Next time on Disgruntled Dudes. <laughs> Next time on Disgruntled Dudes. More <laughs> spoilers that you may or may not be able to decode based Sorry, on Sorry, I, ju I just have to yell some shit right now with the, with the microphone not being on. <laughs> Is it? Are we ending? Yes. Uh, uh.